Hi everyone, uh, Paulo here from MP Web Designs. So now I'm uh, I'm going to show you how to set it, how to set up um, the services or the booking on the front end using Amelia plugin. So if you missed my first video, I have uh, I will link it on the description below. Uh, this uh, I have. Uh, shown how to set up the back end of uh, the Amelia plugin. So now I'm going to show you how to set up the front end as well. So basically, um, there are three short codes that uh, you can use for uh, using Amelia. So you can say that it's somehow limited and how you're going to show you, but this is so much better compared with other uh, booking plugins because uh, they only have one view and uh, Amelia does so much better with it so uh, first and foremost this part uh, this type of uh, front end uh, this is using this short code the yeah, Amelia catalog short code so basically what you need to do is just pull up or add the short code widget on Elementor and then paste the short code. So here uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, paste this uh, URL as well for your reference. So I'm going to show you the other two um, like booking types as well. So again, this will be the catalog. This is so much better. Uh, this is, uh, for me, this is very uh, good or very uh, applicable for, uh, as you can see, this is only a services tab. Or uh, on my end, it's just a book now. So this is very uh, good when applied to a page where it's only good for booking. So again, this is catalog uh, let's view for uh, let's view the other one the um, Amelia booking let's see update so this this one uh, this is uh, more of the search type uh, this is good for widget types uh, I mean on the sidebar you know where you have widgets you can actually uh, put this so as you can see uh, people could search uh, the specific one so the downside of this view is that um, it's not categorized so they will not be able to you know when compared with the catalog um, that you it is grouped via the category uh, this part uh, this is actually just a modern drop down and then when someone clicks it um, they'll be able to book for a certain date uh, the experience is actually just the same just different view so again um, this one this short code I highly suggest it to put it if you do have a sidebar here like for example if your layout consists of your main uh, layout here and then there's a sidebar you can actually um, e use this because it's it's pretty good in terms of you know uh, direct bookings so yeah uh, the third one um, Amelia search this uh, one I highly suggest to put this on the home page this is actually really good when you put this on the home page because it does uh, offer a calendar so as you can see um, this is very very good if you're gonna be putting it on a section uh, on your home page or uh, maybe in your about us page because users can easily uh, see uh, when someone clicks or you know chooses a a date all the available uh, services will be you know 
uh, will be shown and then uh, some there are some uh, details as well and then we'll if the user clicks this one uh, they'll be able to search the appointment time and as you can see it's very very intuitive it even offers a pop-up which is very user friendly and it offers very strong user experience because users will not uh, get to another page for them to book and as you can see um, this view is really really good so yeah um, that's how you set it up again just a few um, recap we just need the short code uh, let me just show you so usually I just search short code and then here and then you go to this list I mean URL and then you uh, have this uh, first uh, this part um, it's actually just a um, like sort or for example for you do have a certain category uh, you can sort like exclude other uh, category of service uh, depends but basically what we do is we show everything uh, just because uh, in some uh, instances people may try to book as well uh, for the other um, events I mean services uh, this one is uh, for events this is just I think this is just for this year or last year that they've added event booking uh, because originally uh, it's just for service bookings which I, I really applaud Amelia for really uh, continuing to develop this plugin and still you know this is the same price before so I, I highly um, commend Amelia for this so uh, sir since we do not have uh, services uh, set up on the back end so I uh, I do I cannot show it to you but again um, I highly uh, commend this plugin if you're going to you know um, put up a booking uh, website this one a million front-end customer this is where um, if you want to uh, let users register and then they'll have their own um, front-end panel where they can see their um, their bookings and, ev and everything so this is actually really good in our end though we do not have uh, a login we just um, notify the customers so yeah uh, this one this is very useful if you do have a lot of uh, employees and you want them to um, I think we have that here let me just um, This is actually a live site, so <laughs> employee panel here. This one. If if you if you do have a lot of you know uh, people that are you know uh, or employees that are going to m be managing, like for example, you have a lot of dentists in your clinic or doctors, or if you have uh, different barbers this short code actually is very this one front end employee panel they'll be able to even up, uh, approve themselves for example if um, there you do have a lot of employees to choose from they'll be able to um, approve all the bookings with them so it, it's really intuitive so that's it for this uh, short tutorial I hope you've learned something and again uh, Amelia is just so amazing uh, I highly recommend it to everyone I am not um, an affiliate so I'm you know uh, I'm just really sharing what I, I think as a uh, web developer and designer for two years now so yeah if you do have any questions feel free to uh, comment down below and 
please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. You have a great day. Bye now.